Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can create 3D windows in SketchUp. Very simple and easy. So in this case, we have some simple facade design in here, which related to the exterior of the building with three type of floors. So I'm going to show how we can model windows very fast and easy. Let's get to work. First of all, this is the model that we have in here. So I can orbit very simple and easy to check it out. I only want to show how we can model windows. So I'm going to click on it, select these surfaces like that and click on the delete in here. So I need to press control A, select all of it, convert it to the group again. And now I need to generate new component for this project. So I prefer to use rectangle in here and I can draw some rectangle from here to here. I'm going to click on it, convert it to the make component or you can use G shortcut on your keyboard. So I'm going to click on the move option, take some copies in different places. You can do it one by one because it's not too much and you can do it very fast and easy. So I need to take these copies very simple like that. If you don't know how to take copy, you need to select your object, click on the move option, press control on your keyboard, copy activated for you, select this endpoint and take your copies. Very simple and easy. So I need to continue this job to cover all the window areas in here. And now I have some unique element and component about the windows. So another time I'm going to right click on this total model, click on the edit group in here. And now I'm going to click on the, uh, this window in here, right click, and we have edit group again. Right now I can click on it like that. If I extrude it, you can see what really happened because it's the group in here. So what should we do? We should click on these options in here, delete them, explode this one and convert it to the component like that. So now you need to take some multiple copies again. I only want to show you what is the differences between groups and components. So I need to move this one to this part of my job and another one in here double click on it and now if I extrude this one all of them will be extruded at the same period of time so now time for the modeling I'm going to click on the extrude option extrude it a little bit about 10 centimeter you can change your unit very simple it's on the meter I can click on the window model info units and change the meter to the centimeter in three different elements so I'm going to click on the offset tool in here. I need some offset, which is my thickness of my window frame. I think five centimeter is enough. Click on this option in here. Take a control another time. Take a copy like that. Very simple. And now I need inner frame for my window. So I'm going to click on the offset another time. Draw my inner window thickness like that. Click on the add delete option in here. And you can see all of them will be changed at the same period of time. So I'm going to click on the extrude another time. I want to pro boolean this area like 3D Studio Max and SketchUp. So I'm going to move it to the downside like this. You can see my cursor movement. So I'm going to click on the extrude, move my cursor on the selected face, left click and push it through or backward. I'm going to push it to the backward. So. Select this frame in here, two centimeter for this one. Now everything is fine. Select all of it, make components another time, or it's the uh, general components. You can select it and convert it to the group. It doesn't matter. So click on the uh, rectangle another time. This time I want to create my windows doors and openers. So I need to draw this window like this extrude it another time about three centimeter click on the offset tool re-offset it for the first time six centimeter and another six centimeter for here and now i want to do bevel in a sketchup so click on this face in here click on the move but this time press alt on your keyboard so now you can bevel it to the back side and delete this surface very simple and easy so I'm going to select it, convert it to the group another time. And this time I can take multiple copies like that in this direction. As you can see, all of them changed at the same period of time. Now time for creating glasses. I'm going to draw another rectangle on this part of my window. 
click on the move option like that press control copy activated and move it to this part of your job so click on the uh, paint bucket in this place and i want to add one of these colors as the glass color but don't worry about the transparency you can click on the edit in default tray material and in the opacity you can reduce opacity like that the color of it is absolutely white something like that so opacity is about 60 percent and close it everything is fine click on these frames in here you can change the color of them very simple for example i prefer to use some another maybe a little bit dark color like the uh, color m3 in here and add it to my project like that very simple so select all of these windows in here like that select them click on the move option and now i need to adjust the position of them exactly like that but if you make it a little bit to the outside and move it like this your renders and your 3d models gets more realistic about two centimeter or three centimeter finally everything is done and this is the final thing that we can see in here i hope you enjoyed this video guys if this tutorial is useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel thanks for your valuable time thanks for your watching please like this video and goodbye